Hey, good morning to you, my friend. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation and welcome to the Lord's Day. Good Sunday morning to you. Hope you have a great day worshiping with the congregation of people that you will be with on this good Sunday morning. Do you believe in absolute truth? What a question. Seems to me like the answer would be painfully obvious. Absolutely, I believe in absolute truth. In 1991, Dr. James Dobson was writing an article entitled, What Do Americans Believe? In it, he cited a survey. In the survey, the question was posed, do you believe in absolute truth? Well, 28% of Americans surveyed said, yes, I, I believe in absolute truth. Surprisingly, however, only 23% of those who identified themselves as evangelical Christians believed in absolute truth. In other words, almost three-fourths of those surveyed said, I'm a Christian, but I don't believe in absolute truth. How can you not believe in absolute truth? If you're a Christian, you must believe in absolute truth, for Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. In the book of Ephesians, chapter number six, when the apostle Paul is dealing with the subject of the armor of God, you know, the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the shield of faith. He said, and having your loins girt about with truth, that Roman girding belt that would go around the abdomen was very important because that belt kept their core strong and stabilized. It doesn't matter how strong your arms or legs are. If you are injured in your core, which supports the back, then, then you're going to have a problem. I mean, a real problem functioning on the battlefield. In other words, Jesus said, it is the truth that holds everything together. Do you believe in the truth? The truth is you're a sinner and Jesus Christ is the Savior. Trust the truth today. It'll change your life. Have a great day, my beloved brethren.